Hello everyone, the Anthony S. Uh, you're not alone. I want to talk to you about something that I actually had a conversation yesterday with my life coach and something that seemingly unaffecting day-to-day -day life seems to be more, I say, prevalent, relevant than I thought. And it started with us talking about the difference between inspiration and motivation. And I want to give the definitions and then go deeper into the conversation of why there's a difference. Motivation, its first definition, the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving a particular way. Inspiration is the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially do something creative. Now, the reason why we talked about this is uh, whether to call yourself a motivational speaker or an inspirational speaker. And Hard Knocks Business Motivation you would say you're a motivational speaker because most sales roles give some sort of reason to behave in a particular way, whether you want to make those sales, whether you want to get that trip. They give you a reason to act in a way, i.e. making sales. And it's not a bad thing necessarily if that's what you're really shooting for, but my life coach made a good point in that it's a fear tactic. So by using motivation, you're basically creating a scenario where you are the gazelle and you're being chased by a lion. And that lion is paying your bills, getting that new car, getting that trip, being on top tier of the, the President's Club list, all those different things. Once again, not a bad thing. It, there, plenty of people live on that. They, they live and breathe for that motivation to be chased. And that's some people are like that. It's okay. But for the sake of this conversation, I want to go over the difference. Now, inspiration, it's simply being stimulated in a certain way. You're just not, you're not being chased. You simply are. And in that, because you are, you want to do something usually creative or inspiring or get that business started. There's no real chase. You're just doing it just because it's basically for the journey. And you know there's a goal at the end and there's something that, you know, you'll build out of it, but you're not being chased by a particular number, like trying to make a hundred grand your first year at that sales role. So the bigger story there is using proper words when communicating. And I've definitely been victim of this or not victim uh i've been a perpetrator of this I, I i've used the incorrect vernacular vocabulary before and it's got me in rough spots where i thought i was taking responsibility for something by the, what i said the tone was slightly off and the wording was slightly off i had a manager that thought i was trying to blame someone else and i had to right away backstep and say, oh, no, 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 I, you got it all wrong. I, I meant this as in, I, this was my fault. I wasn't prepared for correctly. And in that, I had to help. I had people help me and correct it because I was not prepared. So when you're going throughout your day, whether it's your job, whether it's a relationship, whatever it might be, try to focus on using the right words. Now that's going to be for everyone. Even when you're talking jokes, you're trying to, you know, be sarcastic, funny, or, you know, jab at someone in a funny way. If you use the wrong tone or use too harsh words, people will think you're being serious. And then you'll you'll wonder why other people can do it. But then when you try to make a joke, people will look at you and, and think you're being serious. It's usually because, A, your tone is off, or B... You're using vocabulary that makes it seem like you're actually throwing darts at them. So just think about it. Maybe take a few extra moments in your day. If you say something that seemed to go the wrong way, you know, take you know, break that sentence down. Don't be don't be anxious or nervous or sad that you did it. Just take a moment, say, What did I say? And think of a different way to say it. And I'm not saying be PC or whatever. Being PC is good for some people, but what I am saying is be present in your in your conversations almost like having empathy listen to people and respond in a way that keeps the conversation going but also keeps 
them in mind that you do understand them at a deeper level than just the words. We'll talk about that in part more as we, you know, dive into this conversation of, you know, different word use. But the moral is there's a lot of different words out there and a lot of them mean the same thing, especially in our vocabulary of the English language. It's it's it can be very confusing at times, especially for people that are coming here for the first time and are just learning our language. Be patient with everyone and think about what you say. And you'll have a lot more relationships. You'll make a lot more people laugh, a lot more smiles. I promise you that. This is the Anthony S. You're not alone. I will talk to you all soon.